In this video, we'll talk about whether nitric acid, HNO3, is soluble or insoluble in water. One of the easiest ways to know is to have memorized the strong acids. So as we look down our strong acids, there's nitric acid, HNO3. So when we have these strong acids, they're going to dissociate 100% when we put them in water. That means they're going to break apart into their ions. So nitric acid, HNO3, is going to be soluble in water. Let's take a look at how that might happen. So we have nitric acid, HNO3. And nitric acid, we can get pretty concentrated, almost 98, 99%. So we're going to call it a liquid here. And we add that to water, H2O, which is also a liquid. When we do that, the nitric acid, because it's a strong acid, it's going to break apart into its ions. We're going to get H plus plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And that's going to be aqueous. We're going to put a little AQ after that because it's dissolved in water. You'll sometimes see H2O written above the arrow here, but because we have the aqueous, that means that it's dissolved in water. So it's in water. You'll also see this H plus here. Sometimes it's written as H3O plus. That's called the hydronium ion. That's because the H plus joins with the water, forms this H3O plus. Either way, they're really considered the same things when we're talking about this nitric acid dissolving in water. So to recap, we have our nitric acid. It's a strong acid, so that means it's going to dissociate, break apart into its ions, like we have here, the H plus and the NO3 minus. That means that nitric acid is going to be soluble in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.